Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for November 29th and 30th and December 1st, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for my Pisces. Hello, my Pisces. How are you? Well, weekend readings, I'm using two of my Radley Valentine decks. My one, my one angel tarot cards, and the other one is the Archangel Power Tarot cards. I have prayed, meditated, and infused the deck with Reiki energy, the decks with Reiki energy, but remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest, okay? Okay. The moon, the new moon, 26th. Very strong, strong energy. I've posted things on the community page in YouTube. I've posted things on Facebook um, and also Instagram and Pinterest. And I tried to post the same things or, you know, whatever I could post in each one of those. That's the same. So let's cut the deck. Remember, I'm an intuitive channeler. So my higher power, guardian angel, spirit guide, divine, voice of the universe, what comes in will pop out. No filter which is, again, a good thing because I probably wouldn't tell you if I, had, if I could think about it first. So let's go on. Three cards face down. The middle card is reversed, my Pisces. Let's see what we have here. The Chariot, seven, Archangel Metatron. So this very complete seven type number, you know, seven days of the week, um, you know, on the seventh day we rested, you know, all this very strong type of divine type of energy. Metatron is, is an angel that is thought to, an archangel that is thought to have worked, to have walked in the human, as a human in the human existence. So he knows what it's like to be, you know, to be a human being. And that's what he reports up. Now, also too, there's this carriage. This carriage, you know, takes a lot of strength, a lot of control to manipulate and hold these horses, on, you know, to keep them going where they need to go. And, you know, and that means that there will be, you know, that there's a lot of strength that will be needed for this weekend. But when I see the chariot, the chariot to me is movement and there is fast movement. So things could be moving very fast. You might be hearing new news quickly that just kind of changes your Monday. So here it is, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, something changes for your Monday. Okay, an important achievement, self-discipline and willpower, public recognition. This one is reversed. The two of water. Water is your energy, my Pisces. And so this is about relationships. This is coming together. This is, this is you know, you know um, joining, okay? Not just coming together, but joining to walk the same pathway. Now, this could be, you know, this could be about a new job, any of the relationships. So one is job, career, work. The other is intimate or personal. The other is family. So it could be that you hear news about um, about somebody joining the family. Maybe there's a pregnancy. Maybe there's a wedding. It could be that you meet somebody and it's really very instantaneous. Or it could be that you, um, you know, are offered a job that you have to move on quickly. Okay, you have to make a decision quickly. So the two of water is a relationship that continues to grow closer. Forgiveness, the positive resolution of a conflict. So you may have, there may have been something that, you know, maybe you're, again, we've been talking a little bit about money. Uh, maybe you've been waiting for something. Maybe you've been waiting for an insurance check and it's like all of a sudden it's released. Okay. Your last card here, life experience again. So here we have this relationship card growing closer, surrounded by these two Archangel Power Tarot cards. I mean, these are from the Angel Tarot cards, but they're very, these are the strong, you know, strong, um, you know, major arcana. So life experience is Archangel Shemuel, a significant life event, a powerful revelation that leads to change time to spread your wings. Things are, this weekend is a pivotal time. This is a change for you. This is, there's a change in your relationship. There, it, they, you know, it's a, po I feel it's a positive change. It's going forward type of change. Okay. Be prepared for it. Be prepared for it. Now, let's go on here. So there's a lot of, um, okay, well, that one's, okay. This one fell out. This one, and it was face up. This one is five of Ariel. Ariel is our earth energy, okay? Capricorn, Taurus, and 
Virgo. Fives are all about change. Earth energy is solid energy. So that could be about job. It could be about money. It could be about your home. Okay. So with these things, I would think that there is going to be either somebody joining you in your home, or it could be that you are changing your job, or it could be that you haven't been working and now you're going back to work. So it could be that fives are about change. It could be positive change. It could be negative, or it could be just net neutral type of change. But any type of change is, you know, it can be stressful. Okay, so the thing about this one is, so here you have these two archangels here, right? You have these two archangels, these two divine beings. And here you have this change going on. And it has to do with, some, maybe it has to do with your job, money, your house, something like that. But something that's kind of making you feel a little, I don't know if it's uncertain, uneasy. It's making you feel anxious maybe. Maybe there's anxiety with this. The thing is, again, it doesn't mean that it's negative. It doesn't mean that it's positive. I, but with these other three cards, I kind of feel that it is more positive. But this one is basically saying, hey, reach out. Reach out to your angels. Reach out to that higher power. Reach out. You don't have to do this by yourself. There is a divine um, covering, you know, out there that you can call down. Okay? Hope that makes sense. You needn't go through your current challenges alone. Help is nearby. Negative thoughts create self-fulfilling prophecies. And yes, my Pisces, you do have that tendency to, you know, you can be the most optimistic, but then you can be the most pessimistic because that's your little fishes, your little fishes. One of the fishes can be real happy and joyful, and the other one can be going down to that murky water, and they're connected by that cord. So, you know, so put out, hey, Try to pull both fishes up to that happy place, okay? Stop the worrying, stop the anxiety, and just think, you know, reach out and just say, everything's going to be great. I'm moving into a new direction. Um, you know, there's a significant life event, but you know what? It's going to be wonderful for me. It will work out for me. Hey, I have to do this. I have, you know, it's like, okay, it's going to work. When I've heard, I've heard bad news, I'm like, you know what, though? Good will come from this. So I'm not saying you will hear bad news. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying it, it might be, it might be um, challenging. The changes, they might, you might be saying, but I'm not ready for them. It's like, oh, too bad you're going anyway. So my Pisces, if you enjoyed my reading, please remember to like, share, subscribe, and click on the bell. But as always, my Pisces, know that you are loved and be blessed. Bye-bye.